Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this Palin Test webinar. My name is Neil Young, and I'm going to briefly run through check standards, what they are and what they are not, how you use them and what they tell you. And I'll explain the differences between the two types of check standards we supply. So picture yourself doing some tests with your photometer and you start to wonder for one reason or another if it is reading correctly. How can you find out? Well, you could send your instrument back to us for a service and recalibration. But unless you have a backup, and let's face it, who does, you'll be without your instrument for a week. And when we send it back to you, if you are still getting those unexpected results that led to you having doubts, then you'll know that a week ago your photometer was fine and those high readings really were high. You could instead prepare a known solution of whatever it is you are testing for. For example, if you are doing ammonia testing, you make up a one milligram per litre solution of ammonia. However, this is not an easy thing to do. And the result you get on your photometer may tell you how well your photometer is reading, or it may tell you how good you are at making up one milligram per litre solutions of ammonia. The easier option by far is to use check standards. To explain what a check standard is, I need you to recall how earlier Hannah explained how a photometer shines light through the sample and measures the percentage of light being transmitted to it. It then uses its internal software to convert that percentage of transmitted light into your result. So all you need in order to check that the photometer is working is something that you can place in the sample holder for which you already know how much light passes through. For example, if you had something that allowed 50% of light to pass through, you could place it in the photometer, press read, and if you get a result close to 50%, you know that your instrument is working just fine. And that is exactly what a check standard is. Now, we supply two types of check standard. And first, I'm going to talk about liquid colour standards. These are small sealed vials of coloured liquid. The liquid has been formulated so that for any particular wavelength of light, it has a known percentage transmission value, referred to as the percent T. The percent T is shown on the certificate. Each coloured vial can be used to check two wavelengths. So a six wavelength instrument like the photometer 7500 or pool test 25 will need three coloured standards and a blank to check all six wavelengths. The blank is this clear colourless solution, usually labelled standard A, and the instrument uses this as its reference of what 100% transmission is. The certificate that is supplied with a set of check standards tells you which standard to use for each wavelength and the value that it should read. They can be used by selecting transmittance from the test menu and reading their percent T values on the photometer. Just blank and read as if doing a normal test. But to make it easier still, all Palin test multi-parameter photometers have a check standard mode. This makes it easy to input the values on the certificate into the memory of the instrument. Then, each time you run the check standards through, you don't need to refer to the certificate. The instrument already knows the values and tells you whether it has passed or failed on each wavelength. It then displays an on-screen report. Now, the other type of check standards that Palin tests supply are neutral density filters or NDFs for short. Neutral means that they absorb the same percentage of light at all wavelengths, and so they have no color. In these holders are flat pieces of smoky looking glass. NDF standards are what we supply for use with our compact photometers. Because they are flat glass, NDFs have to be positioned at exactly 90 degrees to the light beam. So this notch in the cell holder ensures that the standards are always located correctly. To use NDF standards, simply select the test listed on the certificate. In this example, let's assume it's alkalinity. The instrument will read the NDF standard exactly the same as if it were a real sample and convert the percent T to an alkalinity reading, which you can then check on the certificate. Now, I did promise that I would tell you what check standards are not, and that is, that neither of the two types of standard that I've described are calibration standards. We never refer to them as calibration standards because it is not possible to calibrate photometers using them. Photometer calibration is carried out in our 
instrument laboratory and is a specialised operation using larger sets of specially prepared standards. Now, Palin test colour standards have always proved very popular with our customers. They are easy to understand in, the, in that they more closely resemble the samples being tested. Being in round sealed tubes means that they will work in any orientation to the light beam. However, they tend to have a shorter shelf life and some of the chemicals used have in recent years been classed as hazardous. As they are sealed, this is not a problem when using them. However, care is needed when disposing of them at end of life. Traceability to national standards needs to be established after manufacture, which we do by referencing them against the spectrophotometer that has itself been calibrated using fully traceable standards. With NDFs, the special glass filter material is expensive to source, and it can be easier to damage if the special coating on the filter material gets scratched. We minimize this risk by supplying them in our own specially designed holders. The filter material used by Palin Test has full certification and traceability from the original manufacturer and is supplied to us with sample spectral traces. The shelf life is more than twice that of liquid colour standards and none of the materials used are hazardous. Palin tests are unique in supplying NDF check standards for photometers and feedback from our customers is that they much prefer to use them and as always we are listening to that feedback. So I hope that gives you a useful overview of our photometer check standards. Thank you for taking time to attend this webinar.